Today we're discussing window installations, flange mounted window installations. We're going to be discussing how building papers, tapes, peel and stick membranes have traditionally played a part in how windows have been installed. In this particular example, as you can tell, the builder has used a tar paper wrapping the roof opening and then over top of that placed a, another layer of building paper taping it to the substrate. Uh, at times, peel and stick membranes may be used in this area, but the number one problem that builders have been experiencing is once water has breached the building paper, it has an unobstructed entry point into the rough opening behind the nailing flange. In this case, it's metal clad. Most cases, it's a PVC product. They are broken, damaged, or cracked. Again, the water breaching the paper has an unobstructed entry point into that rough opening. This was not the case with the traditional wood window because the brick mold had compressed the paper against the substrate, creating a very solid gasket barrier. Today's flange mounted windows are broken, cracked, pre-punched nail holes, or the flange is not sitting flat against the surface allowed for that water to enter. More particularly, and, and of a bigger concern was at the head of the window in this area here, where we see again the tar paper wrapping the rough opening. Water entering above the window was funneled into the rough opening with that paper at that particular area. So it's critical to ensure that the flange is sealed extremely well to the substrate and not the building paper. In this particular example, we're demonstrating how peel and stick membrane is being used over top of the building paper. As demonstrated here, the builder has taken the peel and stick, attached it to the building paper, and then attached it to our nailing flange. Unfortunately, in some cases, the peel and stick membrane does not always adhere very well to the substrate surfaces. Uh, heat, cold weather plays a role in good adhesion practices. But the point here, again, is water breaching our building paper anywhere around the window wall interface has an easy entry point around the nailing flange and into your rough opening. Demonstrated here is bent nailing flanges, fasteners that are not attached thoroughly. So again, water breaching our building paper has an easy entry point into the rough opening. In this particular example at the sill, we're showing water coming down the wall, breaching in behind the paper and continuing down the wall behind our building paper. As demonstrated here, once water has entered into the interior of the home, damage can be extensive. From the interior, we see where the entry point would be if water was to breach around the nailing flange.